Well, it's always good to have him in the side because uh, he's our more, most experienced bowler. And especially when it comes to England, you know, he has played a lot of cricket over here uh, for counties as well as, you know, the last time when we were here, he bowled really well. So, of course, you know, it's a bit disappointing to not to have him, you know, for selection in the first 11. Uh, but it's something, you know, that's beyond our control that we always say, you know, injuries, it keeps on uh, happening on and off. So, you know, it's, it just gives uh, a chance to some of the other bowlers, you know, to prove their metal when it comes to international cricket. So, overall, you know, it's a... Uh, win-win situation for the Indian team because we can't really sit and say, okay, Zahid is not there. But we have to look at the positive, which is, you know, uh, some of the other bowlers will get to have a look at international cricket. You know, that's what we have been doing in the past. And not to forget, you know, we were uh, one bowler down which in the last game, which makes it very difficult to come back in the game. But still, you know, there was a time in the second innings, you know, when they were five down and which made them, you know, uh, made it slightly difficult for them to maybe, you know, declare at the right time. You know, they had more time than uh, usual because of the big first innings lead that they had got. So I think, you know, we still need to stick to the basics. And, you know, we have always come back in series like these, you know, where we have lost the first game. So again, you know, we're not thinking too much ahead in time about the second, third or fourth test. What we need to do is, you know, break it into small sessions and try to win those sessions.